welcome to another Teen Activity Kit special. I'm Hillary, and today I'm going to show you how to do a style of painting called pointillism. If you picked up a free activity kit from Central Skagit Library, you already have a canvas and some paints to make your painting with. If you don't have a kit, check out the video description below or visit Central Skagit Library's website to find out how to get a kit of your own. Otherwise, you can use painting materials you have at home. Before we get started on our paintings, let's learn a bit about pointillism first. Pointillism is an art technique that uses individual dots of color to create a picture, instead of big lines or brush strokes like you see in most paintings. Your eyes and brain blend the dots together to make them look like a solid color. It was developed by two painters named Georges Seurat and Paul Signac. You might recognize this painting, Seurat's A Sunday Afternoon on the Island of Le Grand Jacques, and you can see lots of their other paintings online. You probably already know the basics of color theory. Red, yellow, and blue are the primary colors, and when you mix two of them together, you get the secondary colors orange, green, and purple. The same rules apply in pointillism, but the technique is a little bit different. Instead of mixing two colors of paint together to get a new color, you simply put dots of the two colors near each other, and your eyes and brain blend them together, especially from far away. So if you wanted to make green, you would put dots of blue next to dots of yellow. Making colors lighter or darker is different too. Usually when you paint, you make a color lighter or darker by mixing in white or black paint. With pointillism, you just change the spacing of your dots. The farther apart they are, the lighter the color. The closer they are together, the darker the color. Now that you know how pointillism works, it's time to create your own painting. You can paint anything you want, or you can follow along with me to make a sunflower. Your kit comes with three colors, red, yellow, and blue. If you want, you can mix your primary colors to get secondary colors like orange, but for a challenge, I'm going to try not mixing my colors and just putting the dots next to each other. To start, mark out the center of your sunflower. Since the center of a sunflower is brown, and you get brown by mixing all three primary colors, I'm going to mark it out in red to start. While that dries a bit, mark out the flower petals. start filling them in. Remember that the farther apart you make your dots, the lighter the color will be. I want the petals of my flower to be darker in the center and lighter at the tip, so I'm going to start with the dots close together near the center and then make them farther apart near the tip. Now that the petals are all filled in and the center has had some time to dry, I'm going to add some yellow to the center. This will give it an orangey look. If you squint or blur your eyes, you can see the colors blend. Next, add a little bit of red to the edges of the petal, especially near the center. This will make the edges look a bit orange like they're curved or shadow. You don't have to go all the way around the petals, just where you want the shadow to be. The more red you add, the darker it will get, so start with your dots spaced wide apart, then add more if you want. it's time to go back to the center. It should be brown, not orange, so it's time to add some blue. I want mine to be pretty dark, so I'm gonna add quite a bit of blue. That covers up a lot of the yellow and red, so I'll go back and add some more of those in a bit. After that, it's time to start the stem. Stems are green, which need a mix of yellow and blue, and it's easier to start with yellow. Mark out where you'd like the stem to go. You can also add leaves if you'd like, then we'll leave it to dry. shadows around my petals to be a little bit darker, so I'm going to add some blue to make the shadow brown. I'm going to go back to the center a bit and touch up some of the yellow and red. The center looks really messy up close, but if you blur your eyes or look at it from far away, it actually does look brown. 
Now that your stem has dried a bit, go back through and add in some glue. Remember to space your dots wider or closer if you want them lighter or darker. I want my leaves to be lighter on top where the sun hits, so I'm going to leave more space at the top of the leaves. Now it's time to add the last few details. Blur your eyes or look at it from the other side of the room to try and see what needs adjusting. you can add background. I want some blue sky as my background so I'll fill in the rest with blue dots. I want a light blue so I'm making sure the dots are super spaced out. your painting is done. It may look pretty messy up close, and I know mine does, but try blurring your eyes and look at it from across the room. The further away you stand, the more the colors blend and the better it looks. Pretty cool, huh? So how did your painting turn out? Let us know in the comments what you ended up painting and how you liked using pointillism. If you'd like to show us pictures of your finished painting, we'd love to see them. Feel free to post them on Facebook or Instagram and be sure to tag us. We're excited to see what you painted. Thanks for joining me for today's activity kit special. Stay tuned for more videos and activity kits throughout the summer. Be sure to check out Central Skagit Library's website or social media pages for more details about our upcoming kits, and be sure to subscribe to our channel if you'd like to receive notifications when we create a new video. Until next time, take care and have a great summer.